Anyone want a piece of me? Test out my new armor? Good, because I'm really not in the mood. I'm ready for... F what the heck? A whole bunch of stuff died over there. Oh well, I do like my magnet mode. Uh, partly because, I mean, it's kind of a, a bit of a cheat, but on the other hand, it really helps clear out all of the crazy <sighs> dropped items out of the world, which can really lag up the place. So, it's kind of a little vacuum machine. Oh, who was groaning over here? Oh, a zombie in gold armor. I'm not sure I'm ready for that much of a challenge. <laughs> Heck, there's no damage indicators. Oh, rough. Well, I'm used to the damage indicators mod. Letting me know all that stuff. Darn, I just made a helmet. And the dude just gave me a helmet. Ugh. Silly world. Alright, I see my, uh... Coal seeds are still percolating nicely. Some SOB just shot me with an arrow while I was trying to be friendly. Friendly banter. Alright, let's see what I got. Ah, his helmet wasn't worth crap anyway. Piece of junk, dude. Alright, so there's some walls. And you can see how you already get so many of these berries. I'm going to keep the Natura berries at the bottom. I got more squid tentacles than I know what to do with. I got cooked squid tentacles. I got the other mods berries. Well, these guys who want you to have enough food to start with, I believe they win, because there is enough darn food in this world. Oh, more mallow berries. There's so much of this berries and stuff, I don't even know how to organize them. Shrubs? Green shrubs. Oh, I guess not all shrubs are green. These are a slightly different color. Well, that's going to be annoying if you can't stack all your darn shrubs together. But I did plant pale green shrub seeds, so I guess that's a pale green shrub. Uh, so confusing. Let me eat my super strawberries. Get those out of the way. Let me hit the bed. Hopefully a skeleton's not out there. Wake up with an arrow in my eye. It's like a nice howdy-do to you. So, somehow I'm level 20 already, and I don't think I've done anything. <laughs> I guess it's it's all mining experience, because I've only had one really... one fight. Now, let's see. I've got three feathers. I've got three arrows. I need some more uh, torches. Let me get just a couple. Alright, eight... 16, yeah. So a stack of torches takes two logs, essentially, and 16 coal. So, let's see, I need one more string. How many of these uh, cottons does it take to make a string? I believe it's actually three. Yeah, it's not two, so... One more string, and then I'll make a bow. So that's good. And as I said, the iron, I need five of those, well, four of those, to complete my outfit. There's my boots, and I got decent armor on. So, it's not bad, just a few days into it. Let's see, usually I keep my weapon in my number seven slot. Let me stick the bucket in with the inorganic stuff and the minerals. I already have too much stuff to manage. So more minium shard and ink sack and a lapis is a mineral. So that goes the inorganics. Alrighty, well uh, alright, goober. Alright. I got your head. Alright, let's take a look. There is more of those guys if I need to pop some. Hey, cotton's ready. I can make me another string and make a bow, I'm pretty sure. Get my other two cottons hit the th crafting table. Three of them makes a string. I can never remember this crazy uh, recipe f for, let's see, the bow, I believe it's... No, it's... Oh, I always get that wrong. The string stays straight. But the wood is bent. There's a bow. Alright, now we need a stack of raspberry bushes. Now let's check the map bri briefly. 
well, sorry, a different map. I want X. So everything north of here is frozen waste. Everything south looks pretty good. And, of course, following my road to the west on this map. Across the pond is another big pond. And I just start, you can see the road I just started in the left headed down south. But, eh, I'm not seeing anything really standing out as far as exploration goes. I see a little pit of lava. Should probably avoid that. Oh, it's just trees and grass. Not much happening. Well, I'm going to go offline a bit and grab me a batch of cobble from down in my mine. Oh, heck, what the hell. Early in a game, you got a mine. So I'm going to go do that. And I did discover some pretty cool things last time, so... Something will turn up. I think I left off at the... Uh, nice little uh, pool of water. And I will continue just... Ah, thank you, Gravel. I kind of wanted to step right at that level. Any more Gravel, Gravel? No. Just not going to help. What was that sparkle? I am just so sensitive to weird, weird sensations. Who's sparkling? And why? Why are there sparkles in here? It's got to have something to do with n nature berries. Nature essences or something? What's that? Is that... That was uraninite. Well, I guess that was radiation or something. Kind of thought it was a magical sparkle. But heck, uraninite in the real world is the uh, major ore of uranium. And I guess if industrial craft is out, then I'm not going to see its regular uranium ore. So uraninite it is. Some mod thought that was good. And heck, if you're going to make uranium ore, you might as well call it what uranium ore is actually called. Even though this is a fantasy game. And one of the weirdest fantasies ever created. Alright, don't get obsessed over coal. Just make a note of it and come back and get it. Hey, why did my hand do that? Oh, I psychically knew there was something good and bad under there. Darn it. How do I do that? Sometimes I just know exactly where to hit and where not to hit. Alright. Take some of this gold. Although, without industrial craft, what is it for? I won't be needing any gold-plated wires. I think I hear a slime. Not very close, but... It's first thing you know me, I'm gonna go down here and do... is seal off the place. Whoa! Alright. You scared the piss out of me! Holy cow, that was a uh, startle. But I recently got a clean bill of health from my cardiologist, so I'm not worried about that. Hey, you go go goober, 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 goober. Go away. Alright, so that looks pretty cool in that direction. This here is an orberry bush. The same guys who did the Natura mod with the, uh, the fun berry bushes did the... Uh, Tinker's Construct mod, which plants these orberry bushes in, in the world. So, what do we got here? Tin. And the orberry bushes don't produce a whole lot of material. An orberry is equal to one nugget of ore in the smeltery. But heck, where else do you, how, when else do you get to grow ore? Grow metals, that's just cool. Am I fussing over coal again? Stop doing that. Make sure it's secure. That green stuff was that weird ender stuff. Now it's okay for me to have a look up and over. Boy, I got some big open spaces under me house. You really should be in my hand by now. Alright, what's down this way? Well, anything bad? Probably. But, once again, if I start blocking off the directions and then handle each direction one at a time... Okay, spiders could still get through. This looks like osmium. 
Redstone. Wow, a lot of. Oh, more slimes. And right there is where I'm going to call it a cutoff. And I'm going to try and mine this safe area. That's en Ender Powder or whatever that is. Notice I'm not getting a damn piece of cobblestone. Come on, alright, cobblestone, 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 cobblestone. Darn it, and there's something other than cobblestone to distract me from my mission of stocking up on the most boring block in the entire planet. I'll always remember to hit some cobblestone. Man, look at that gold go. Now there are quite a few mobs in, on the soundtrack right now. Um, not particularly happy about that. Quick, grab some copper, cobble, copper, cobble, copper, copper, cobble. Cobblestone, cobblestone, cobble, cobble, cobblestone, 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 cobble, cobble, cobblestone, copper. Osmium. Yes, you get a certain sort of miner's dementia after a while. I want the copper. I want it all. And I want it now. Oh, well, that's enough. I don't even have a use for it yet. Ender gonk, redstone. I'll do a few redstones. I don't have a big use for that yet. But I've definitely found some pit of uh, mobs. That is tin, probably. And again, without industrial craft, I'm now wondering what tin is going to be good for. Hmm. Not sure. I'll just cap that for now. Ender powder. That's some tough stuff, that ender powder. I've almost worn out an entire... Oh, that's not ender powder. That's that little m magic stuff. I like those. The weak magic essence that I can use to make coal seeds. Darn it. I'm going to use up a whole iron pick. All right. It's just so hard to come down and only get the boring stuff. I can't do it. Oh well. It's tons and tons of mobs. And look, I can't get back up. Alright, that's good. More osmium. Torches on the left should get me out. Is that where I came in? Oh yeah, look at that. Alright, so I gotta make a little mark so I don't get lost down here in the future. Is that more osmium? Or something else even weirder? I don't know. Yep, there goes my brand new iron pick. Alright, so now I've clearly marked that as the way out. I still can't pick up that ore berry for some reason. Anyone down here? That's gonna be lots of fun to explore. It's a big dig, that's for sure. Alright, heading on up. And I think that's also going to be a big battle once things get really going. Well, let me check, see if I remember to get a little bit of cobble while I was down there. Don't need that appetite right now. Speaking of appetite, I'm still pretty much totally full. Oh, I suppose a skeleton skull is inorganic matter. Orberry bushes. Those you have to plant in the dark. The orb... Ah, so freaky. Okay. Slime. Wow, how I end up well over, over a stack of redstone? I got osmium, copper, gold. I don't remember getting cobblestone slabs. Oh, those were for my road-making activities. Silver ore is pretty. Hey, I did get over a stack of cobble without even trying. Yeah, but then again, you kind of just fart and cobble appears in these worlds. For now... Just put my ore berries there, although they're technically not organic. But it's night time, let me snooze. Then I can get up and make a new pick, do a little road building. And, well, technically I should start with some building building before doing more roads off to nowhere. So, they're just going to be boring, boring buildings for now. I'm going to start off in cobble like everyone else, and maybe even a dirt hut or two, but I just like to frame out where I'm going to be working in the future. 
Let's see, wake up and have some fresh berries. There's some fresh berries. My coal seeds are still percolating. Fizzly pop. Alright, so I like to leave three spaces between. Now I'm going to do my standard crazy, not the most exciting thing in the world design, where I'll do two spaces, one space for a door, two spaces, two spaces, two spaces, two spaces, two spaces, one for a door, two spaces, two spaces, two spaces, and uh, you go here. And there's kind of a method to this madness. It's just a quick way I've come up with for doing this. And I might as well start trying to make things look a little bit decorative. Because when I do these, I like to do them with stone slabs. And then I'll use something a little different for the, uh, the top. Oh hell, I've got wool sitting here for no reason. <coughs> usually put a little bit of a different symbol up, up above and I usually have some cobble in here I mean some dirt in hand as like a stepping ladder so we'll go six five six so there's that and always put a torch on top and let's see I guess we'll just frame it out quickly and again that's just a placeholder that's a wrong placement totally wrong totally wrong start over no oh I don't have a uh, I meant to make a uh, <laughs> a darn smashing tool an iron pick all right I'll put a uh, one of you in the middle so the second house will be a little bigger than the first. Again, dirt in the corner, but the, I'm going to lop that off afterwards. And put a half slab in there. Uh, let me see, let me see if my stone is done yet. Really, I wasn't expecting all to be done that fast. One, two, three, six, half, 18 of them. That's a good start. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now the back dirt area there is going to uh, make up for some of them. All right, that I will go up on the dirt. For now, my guys are unfortunately my building just can have ugly dirt roofs which I can replace with all kinds of decorative stuff once I get a stash of that. Generally I like to build out of a stone brick and the uh, double stone slabs. I um, hate building out of stone because unless you have a silk pick tool, silk touch tool, every time you misplace stone you smash it you get cobble and you, you're one piece short one one screw loose and uh, I just like to build out of normally stone brick it's reasonably decorative without being uh, grossly expensive so make me another iron pick number one slot I got a whole bunch of the weak magic essence play around with that some can only guess uh, what mod or what the ultimate purpose of that is going to turn out to be but it has magic in the name, so it's got to be fun. All right. Here we go. Just going to quickly hop over here. <laughs> Looks kind of like a Band-Aid across the front of it. This building is ugly. It needs a Band-Aid. But for now, like I say, your first couple buildings are really just to get set up in. And so far I've spent probably a little too much time enjoying the uh, weird food items and not enough time getting industrial. Let's see how much I got left of this. Three. So that'll be enough. Sixteen, I mean. And 
two glass for the middle and a door. And I guess while I'm right here, I should put down the rest of these boys. Stone slabs. I'm going to need some glass for windows. But first, a quick uh, make over here. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. And I got a crafting table. Number two slot. Two right there. Make a chest. And in this world, I'm always going to be starting off with an iron chest. There's really no point doing anything less because of the unbelievable amounts of stuff that you're going to end up with. Alright, one other thing I did plan to make was a fence gate, which takes exactly one log. You click once, you got your four sticks, you get a fence gate, you put it down, and you are zombie free. Let me see what my glass situation is here. I had plenty of sand. I was going to say I should have so much cobble I can make a zillion furnaces, but in fact, really don't have that much cobble because I keep forgetting to uh, stock up on it. Now glass, what I do have, I have 11. I need two for up top. And I'll take these panes. I can make more glass panes with these six. So there are 21 glass panes, and I'll put the two glass in the number three slot. Always close your gates. There's no point having a gate or a door if you leave it open. That's like having no gate at all. Alright, so what do we got here? That is pretty much just a dark hole. That's not much of a view, but I'll have to block it anyway. One, two... I think these designs take 16, uh... I've done enough of these guys. I think 16 blocks will... Uh, 16 panes will do all the windows. So there, poof. A bigger place to work. And normally the very first industrial stuff I set up is always going to be a thermal expansion, which means a couple of uh, engines and uh, pulverizer and uh, the induction smelter and an el electric furnace. That will probably be my tomorrow project. But for now, I'm going to call this a uh, quick run. Hop in my bed at the other house when the sun sets. Oh, there's plenty of time.